welcome back for another video. So I'm really excited to talk about my favorite, favorite skincare products for 2016. I feel like this is the year that I really took ownership of my skin. Instead of complaining and being like, oh, I hate that I have so much texture or discoloration, I really was like, you know what? I'm gonna find out exactly what I need to fix this. And I really implemented like a solid regimen that I feel works for me. Um, if you haven't watched my previous skincare video, I have oily combination skin. And during the winter, it does tend to get a little bit more dry, like around my mouth, and especially like around the upper parts of my forehead, stuff like that. So it does need hydration. Um, so you know what, I got a lot of good products to discuss, and the first one that I'm gonna talk about is makeup removal, because I believe that's a huge part of skincare, and if you don't remove all the makeup from your face, your pores are gonna get clogged, your skin is not gonna look um, on point at all. So let's get into what I use to take off my makeup. So I love to use um, cleansing oils. I'm a big believer in this. So I love to use the um, DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. Now I got this at Gen Beauty um, in San Francisco and I was kind of like, oh whatever, oil. Like, you know, I could just buy oil anywhere. But this stuff is so amazing. It just takes off a full face of makeup so, so well. And the travel size looks like this. It's so cute, so you can bring this with you whenever you're, you know, traveling around or going on a little road trip, whatever. Totally can fit in your little makeup bag. And this one is like, you know, the big, the Mac daddy for when you ain't playing no games. You're here to take off everything. <laughs> and in terms of makeup wipes, because I am not somebody that uses oil and then just a cotton pad. I like to use oil and a makeup wipe. I love the Sim brand. Um, this is their Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes <laughs> brand. I know that there's another one, um, I think the Micellar line. I use that too, but I don't really find much of a difference between the two. Just whatever one I find first, I just grab when I go to replenish. I love this stuff because it actually stays super, super moist. Um, in the packet as long as you don't leave the little flap open and it takes off your makeup so freaking well. So this in conjunction with the oil, I just feel like when I go to actually cleanse my skin, um, there's like barely anything left. So if you guys don't use these, you gotta check them out because you've been missing out on a whole lot. So another makeup um, remover that I use I know I'm a little bit high maintenance with this stuff. <laughs> is the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. Because I have eyelash extensions, the individual kinds, I can't actually use oil on my eyes. So if you're somebody like me that can't use oil on your eyes, then I would suggest this or honestly any oil free cleanser. I just really like this one. I feel like it's super efficient. I don't have to waste my time. I do use a cotton pad with this and then also I take a Q-tip and I go closer to my lash line to remove any eyeliner, but this is really good stuff. Okay, so let's move to cleansers. Now I do use the Clarisonic, um, I think it's the Mia Fit, and I don't actually have that, it's in my bathroom right now, but I've mentioned it in a couple of my other videos. I love, love, love that cleanser, and I have sensitive skin and it doesn't bother it at all, it's amazing. And then, in terms of actual like liquid cleansers, um, I have two that I really, really, really love. So the first one is more of a daytime one for me, where I just actually use my fingers to rub it in. This is from Pure Lease. It's their Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. So if you have sensitive skin that gets irritated, whether it's oily or dry or combination or whatever, this is gonna be so soft on your skin. It has antioxidants, which as we know is like amazing for your skin. It also has white tea, which um, helps rejuvenate skin. Soy milk, which is rich in amino acids. And it also has whole 
oat to calm and soothe sensitive skin. So if you're somebody that has a lot of redness or pimples or stuff, this is gonna be really, really good. Next on the cleanser list. So this is a relatively newer item for me, but I just feel like I've fallen so in love with it. I just have to tell you guys, this was like the biggest cleanser find for me. This is from Derma E, it's their purifying gel cleanser. It comes out and it's um, got activated charcoal in it. So it is like that dark gray color. And what it does is um, it cleanses the skin and it helps to um, go ahead and provide a protective layer against environmental you know, substances that can harm your skin or anything in the air or something like that. So <laughs> I love this. Then for tonics, uh, I actually only have one favorite. I've been rocking with this one for a long time. <laughs> This is from Evan Healy. It's their Rose Geranium Facial Tonic Hydrosol. So hydrosols are like similar to um, just like regular tonic water, but they've been more distilled and are less likely to irritate the skin. Because it has rose uh, geranium in it, it has so many moisturizing um, benefits for the skin. It's great for mature skin. It's great for young skin. I feel like my skin just looks more plump. My fine lines are less apparent when I'm using this. So I mean, what more can I ask for? You know what I mean? So um, I believe you can get her stuff at evanhealy.com and I think they also sell it at Whole Foods, but I'm not sure if they sell the whole line there. Definitely check this out, you guys. I have to say that this is probably my favorite out of all the products I'm talking about. Like. It's so subtle, but it just works wonders for the skin. Moving on to serums, I have one like ride or die that I've been loving all year long. And when I skip out on this baby, like my skin just freaks out. So this is the TLC from Booze Glycolic Night Serum. It's from a company called Drunk Elephant, which has such a weird name, but I promise you, if you have texture, and I'm just talking about like little, like tiny bumps all over your skin, you know, your skin doesn't appear smooth, oh my God. This bad boy has glycolic acid in it, and it's got a 12% AHA blend. It's also got raspberry extract and horse chestnut. I've never even heard of most of the things on there, but I'm gonna tell you that this is gonna make such a huge difference when we're talking about texture. Like this does not play around. It will definitely disrespect your bank account, like it's 90 bucks, but I promise you it'll last you like three to five months, depending on how often you use it, and you will just be so happy. Also, they redesigned the packaging, so when you twist it, this little pump pops out here. All you need is one, maybe max two pumps and you're good. And then you just close it back up. So it's really cute and travel friendly and works wonders. So next up, I wanna talk about masks. I love putting masks on my face. I feel like when you wear makeup a lot or you're exposed to a lot of environmental like toxins, you just need to like, you know, give your face some life. So this one that I've been loving, this is also from Pure Lease. I feel like I've talked about Pure Lease a lot. <laughs> this is their, um, it's preventative line and it's Blue Lotus and White Tea. It's a treatment sheet mask. So it's intensely moisturizing, nourishing, and renewing. And this one just comes in like a pack of five masks. I'm gonna open it and show you guys what it looks like. So right here, as you can see, this is just a normal sheet mask. They give you a little instruction. I just find when my skin is like being really intense or acting up, especially around, you know, when my dot comes, like, I just want something soothing, you know what I mean, for my face and moisturizing at the same time. Nothing really crazy because I do have, as you guys can see, quite an intensive skincare routine. So I want something that's not going to interact badly with the rest of the products. So I love using this and then I'll usually keep it on for about um, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Maybe I'll watch a little show on Netflix or something. And then I take it off and I press it into my skin and let it dry and then I'll continue on with the rest of my skincare routine. But I've gotta say it's so amazing, especially during the winter where your skin is just like screaming for moisture. You guys gotta try this, you're gonna love it. So the next mask, this one is more of an overnight mask. So you put on as like the last step of your 
beauty routine and then you go to bed and then in the morning you wash it off and I feel like everybody probably knows about this one it's from the company Laneige sorry this is like a little dirty here <laughs> but it's their water sleeping mask and this is so hydrating even if you have oily skin you still need to moisturize your skin because a lot of the times your skin will produce oil like overly produce it because it's so dry so I love this stuff especially if you work long hours your skin is dry and you just put this stuff on at the um, end of the day you know right before you go to bed oh my god you're gonna love this it's like a gel consistency it looks blue here it goes on nice and clear smells divine it smells like a wonderful spa doesn't irritate your skin I think you can find this at like Target that's where I've seen it um, the most but please you guys I can't say enough good things about all these products because they're all my holy grails <laughs> try this out you won't regret it at all and this big little jar here will last you like a lifetime so moving on to eye creams um i've tried a lot a lot a lot of eye creams in 2016 and i really just realized that what i need for me is i need an eye cream that's moisturizing i find that a lot of the anti-aging ones aren't as moisturizing as i want them to be and i feel like the best way to prevent wrinkles is to just make sure your skin is well hydrated and moisturize so what I've been using um, is the rose it's from the fresh line fresh skincare line and it's their rose hydrating eye gel cream so this little guy right here is guaranteed to infuse moisture for 30 hours so theoretically if you didn't wash your face for like 30 hours which would be nuts your under eyes would still be moisturized and it's awesome because when you do put makeup over it um, it does keep your eyes hydrated instead of looking like dry and cracked and nasty you know what I mean and God, I've had this for such a long time and I'm only halfway done. A little bit goes a long way, if you can see right here. It's cream color, it goes on and it feels like so cooling. What I used to do is I used to love putting this in the fridge and then when I would go ahead and put on my eye cream, it would be so nice and cool. You can use this at night, in the morning, and I think putting it in the fridge is really good if you get a lot of puffiness around your eyes. That's gonna be such a nice little cooling treatment. Um, it is like 40 bucks, but you guys, I mean, I've had this going on five, six months, and I'm only like halfway done, so I'm just gonna say it's gonna last you a while, so why not like invest in your skin, you know? Um, now, my favorite night type moisturizer, which I think is good for all skin types. I love this, I've fallen like head over heels in love with this one. This is from Derma E. It's their hydrating night cream. This smells like a freaking smoothie. Oh, I just can't. Oh man. I love stuff that just smells supernatural because then I know that when I put it on my skin, it's just gonna feel good. It has a thicker consistency. Now when it goes on, it seeps into the skin. So your skin does not look oily. I would say that if you're dry, you can put this and a face oil on top of it. Woo! It's gonna be amazing for your skin. So it says that it's an extra rich, intensely hydrating night cream, replenishes anti-aging moisture to the skin while you sleep. So hey, who doesn't want that? You know what I mean? Um, all in all, like it's a pretty hefty sized little jar here. You end up with two fluid ounces, but a little bit goes a long way. And I usually apply this to my whole face and my neck, and I just love the way that it smells. I will definitely be repurchasing this for 2017 Bo Show. So next up, I wanna to talk to you guys about face oils. Like, as you guys can see, I have quite the extensive <laughs> routine. But I think face oils are so important. Um, they just infuse so much moisture, and I feel like they're really important once you apply all that moisturizing product to your skin, even if you're oily, you need to seal everything in. Just like, for example, with natural hair, you apply the moisture, you wanna seal it with some oil. The first oil that I'm gonna talk about 
This is what I use at night time. So this is from Evan Healy. It's their Rose Hip Treatment Facial Serum. And it comes in this little one ounce thing. I usually only use maybe like one pump for my whole face and then another pump for my neck. And what I'll do is I will uh, use it with this hydrosol spray. I'll spray the spray on my hand and then I'll spray this little oil on here. I'll rub my hands together and then what I love to do is I love to like tap it into my skin, push it into the skin. Not so much rubbing, just tapping like this. And it just smells divine. Um, Evan Healy products are just so amazing, especially if you have skin that's prone to react or even acne skin that's sensitive to, you know, you gotta check this out. And my last face oil that I wanna talk about, this is more of an essence. Now, if you use Korean beauty products, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This is from a company called The Face Shop. They're a Korean beauty product. Now, I got this uh, when I went to Seoul. So this is like coming up on a year ago, you guys. And I, I use this very sparingly because this is something that I use for like daytime oil. So when my skin is really, really dry and after I've applied my serums and it just like still is like, please help me, then I put this on. And it's their Mango Seed Good Radiance Essence. So it's gonna make your skin look hydrated, make it look youthful, full, like plump up those fine lines. Um, and this is like the face shop has so many freaking gems. And if I still have some of them around from when I went to Seoul, I would like definitely talk about them. But I definitely suggest checking out their face serums. They're one of a kind. And the mango seed one smells really, really good. Again, it does not irritate my skin. And it doesn't make my skin look overly oily either. It just like makes it look like youthful and radiant, you know? <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite skincare products from 2016. These are the ones that I used the most, the ones that I fell head over heels in love with, and I am somebody that skips around from a lot of beauty products, but when I find something in a specific category that I love, I'm just like, stay with me, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let me know what your favorite skincare products for 2016 were in the comments below. If you're new here, I hope you've subscribed. If you're still here till the end of the video, you are the real MVP. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.